here is the map of NumPy, um, why NumPy is, um, is useful, uh, very useful for scientific computing. So, okay, a bit of background. Uh, so first I started learning Python, and uh, only later, uh, just a, a few months ago, um, I found um, NiPy. So what I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about NumPy. Uh, more, just a basic, a basic introduction. So most of you will already know what I'm going to say, but, um, but, but, but what I hope is that um, if, if anyone else is interested in NumPy and their focus is on uh, math or scientific computing, uh, I, I, I want, I'd like to, um, I'm interested in, in some kind of collaboration uh, with other SciPy users and developers in Asia. So that's my, that's my motivation for this talk. OK, next. Uh, so what is NumPy? OK, you already know. So I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, that's, that's, that's NumPy. Actually, in the, in the beginning, Py Python wasn't designed for numerical computing. Uh, Py NumPy came later a few years later in 2005. So NumPy was designed for uh, numerical computing. Uh, so what is ND Array? Uh, the core data structure of NumPy. Uh, an n-dimensional array. Uh, so it can have any, more, any, any number of dimensions. Usually we're using two or three dimensions, or could be uh, could, could, could be four if we're using time as a dimension. Uh, okay, just an example how to create a 2D array. So uh, if you've used NumPy, you'll already know. Uh, it's very, very straightforward creating, uh, importing the package, and then uh, this is a 2D array of four byte integers. Okay, that's the 2D NumPy array. Uh, let's compare the, the ND array with um, a Python list. Uh, okay, so this is in IPython. This is from IPython, uh, the interactive IPython. Uh, so we have an ND array of integers of number one to a million, and we have an ND array. We convert it to a list. So we have the ND array, and we have the list. So we've got the same data in ND array, the same data in a list. OK, uh, so let's, let's use um, a magic function, uh, the IPython uh, so-called magic function, time it. OK, let's time how long it takes to multiply every element in the array, in the list, in the list by seven. So this is the list. So uh, the... the, the um, the, the most important number is on the far left, 108 milliseconds. Uh, so that's the mean. 108 milliseconds is the mean to iterate through the list, through the Python list. OK, let's go to the next one. Uh, now let's look at the ND array, the NumPy ND array. OK, 2.96 milliseconds, only 2.96 milliseconds. Uh, is the mean uh, time for a loop uh, using ND array. So it's about over 30 times faster uh, using the ND array of NumPy. Uh, okay, that's, so that's, that's the comparison. Uh, uh, so implications. Uh, okay, that's just one kind of trivial example, but actually if you 
if you do any operation that goes through a lot of data sequentially, you'll get a similar differential um, between the Python list and the ND array. Uh, so what are the reasons? Why is an N a NumPy ND array faster than a Python list? Uh, is it A, B, or C, or D? D, yes, yes, D, D is correct. Uh, so all of the above are true. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there, there's an excellent uh, blog post by Jake. I've forgotten his name. Jake Vanderplast. Uh, but but that, that's from his um, blog. Uh, so that that that, that, that gives uh, shows why the ND array is so much faster because it's looking at um, uh, contiguous data in memory. So uh, check out that um, blog post uh, if you want to know more about um, the ND array and how it works, how it's implemented in the Python, in, in, in how it's implemented in memory. Uh, it's a great, excellent blog post. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much.